Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can actually download a file in a JSON format or maybe some other format in Databricks. It's not just a JSON format, but even if in, if the file is in some other format and you want to kind of download it, how you can actually do it. So let's move on to the portal and see how this can be done. So we ideally know, right, whenever you have a data frame and you want to download it just like this, uh, you have this download option over here and but remember that it is always download as csv it is not like you know download the, any other format right so today we are going to see that even if you have uh, you know such kind of a scenario where let's say uh, your data is in array format right then in that case if you download the csv it is not going to work for you in that case you might have to you know deal with some other format right so in this case we are going to see how the same file we can download in a json format so if you see over here right in command one what i am doing is typically i have uh, let's go to the data part in dbfs and in the tables right what do i have i have iris.csv file typically the file which i use most right in my videos now in this iris.csv file i am here trying to read the csv file right let me just try to rerun this so i'm trying to do nothing but simply uh, you know read this file and display the data frame so this is how the uh, you know file looks like and the data in it now in the second command what i'm trying to do i am trying to repartition it to uh, you know just one partition and then i'm trying to write it at this particular location because i want a one file so i'm just trying to do a repartition you can do repartitioning collays or uh, you know anything it is just a demo and if you want to learn more in detail about repartitioning or collays you can go and watch my videos on that but yeah for now this data frame i'm writing in json format so you remember that i have taken this as a csv file and as, as a json format i'm just writing it to this particular location now let's move on to this location and see so in the file store i have the shared uploads right inside shared uploads i have bhavna folder and this is the part file or this is the json file you can see you can actually see this dot json file so what i have to do right now is let me just do click on this and click on copy path let me just copy this path over here right now the moment i copy this path you know I, you have to create a new cell and just paste that path over here so this is the path let me just even type it over here path of json file right this is generated by your code right so this is json code generated file now if this is the path of my file then in the second case what i need to do is i need to copy the url so just copy the url your databricks url let me just copy this so the moment i copied my databricks url right the other thing that i have to do is create another cell just put in the url over here like this right now uh, just look at this command four right now right in fact let me just also zoom it right so that it is little more visible so if you look at command 3 i have given you the path of the file in command 4 what i have given is let me just type in this is your databricks url right url of your databricks now in this case what you need to do is right essentially uh, you just go over here right after this dot net right if you look at it uh, just let me just close these two commands okay so essentially what you need to do is after dot net you need to type in this you need to hard code this thing dot files basically forward slash files and then shared uploads basically this is the place where you know it is uploaded my json file is uploaded if i say shared uploads if you go over here right where is my file my hair my file is in file store and after file store it is in shared upload uh, shared uploads right so you this files part you have to hard code it right after that this is basically the path where your file is present right my file is present in shared uploads bhavna folder now in fact let me do it this way so this is the url of uh, databricks that you have added in fact let me do it this way okay let let us create another cell to edit it right 
if you see this is the path of the json file i'm repeating it so that there is no confusion this is the part path of the json file this is the databricks url that you have copied from the top now you have to edit this url right now right how would you edit this url after net after dot net you are going to hard code files over here right now the moment you hard code files then what you need to do you need to go to the path of your json file after file store whatever is your path right just copy it after the file store because file store it is going to take by default so you have to just copy it till the end after file store just copy it and this is the place where you added files right what and you have to copy the path of the json file after copying it copying it just paste it over here now this is the path of my json file till here right and remember that this is called the organization id right this is basically called org id after this whatever is mentioned in your url just remove it right just remove whatever is mentioned now what exactly is this now this this is the url which you can copy again and paste it in your browser so the moment i have pasted it in my browser and moment i click on enter you can actually see that i have this part file downloaded right now let me go to the browse section you can actually see what does it say it says that it has a json file like this right it says it has a json file like this so exactly this is how you can actually download you know a json file so if i open this file you can actually see this is the same data iris.csv data in a json format exactly 21 rows right this is what it has so this is how you can actually go ahead and download it download any file in a json format but remember what i'll do right now is i'll just reiterate everything in short so that you know things are a little more clear because when you hear things like this it becomes more you know uh, more clearer to you okay so in this case what you have to do is first of all your json file now this json file can be generated by the code or you might have uploaded the file and you want to download it or something like that right so this is the path of your json file simple path of your json file the second is the url of the databricks which you are currently in right directly you have to copy it from the top then the third thing is you have to generate the you have to edit the url databricks url how do you edit it after dot net right just add files after files copy the path of the json file after file store till the end paste it after files and remove from the url just remove everything after the organization id after this o equal to you know the number that you have just remove everything from here and then you have this path now this path is nothing but if you you know paste it online this particular path and uh, you know you just put enter you can actually see that this part file gets downloaded and again it got downloaded right so this is how you can actually download a file in json format in databricks and you know thank you so much for being till here but i do request you all to do subscribe to my channel and in case you're liking the videos do share it among your friends as well so thank you so much for being till here